Hey guys, how are we doing? I'm Joe from Precision Racing and today we're going to talk about torque management, specifically related to the ZF transmission. What do I mean by torque management? Now most modern day ECUs are torque based. What that means is the ECU knows exactly the, the amount of torque the engine's producing at any given time. This is typically based on manifold pressure, fuel supply, um, engine load, things like that. The TCM or transmission control module also knows how much torque the transmission can handle um, at all conditions. So during a shift throughout the gear, uh, it then imposes certain torque reductions or limits um, based on the conditions. These limits and reductions can be set fairly safe from factory for obvious reasons. So it's up to us as a calibrator to try and give you the best balance of performance and longevity. So now we know that the ECU tells the transmission how much torque the engine's producing. Let's say 600 Nm. Then the transmission requests a re reduction in torque of 200 Nm during a shift. Um, it's then up to the ECU to decide how it's going to reduce the torque by that amount, whether it's going to use its throttle, ignition timing, or fuel supply. So then it ultimately drops the torque from 600 to 400 to complete that either the shift uh, or that uh, limit throughout the gear. So everyone has a different way of doing things. Some are more right than others. Uh, a lot of people will just calibrate the engine side of things um, to reduce the amount of throttle spark or fuel that can be reduced during one of these conditions, which then overall reduces the amount of torque that's, uh, oh, sorry, reduces the amount of cut um, that's produced. Probably not ideal. Ideally, you'll be using the torque reductions within the transmission itself um, so that it's still requesting the right amount of reduction for each condition. When we build the transmission, we're obviously upgrading components um, to, to better quality of materials, um, higher capacity clutch packs, um, whether it's a different material or friction, or actually increasing the clutch count um, to, to increase that capacity. What that does is increases the torque that it can handle. So then we can go into the transmission side of things and say, hey, instead of reducing the torque by 200 meters on this shift, we can reduce it by 100 newton meters. Overall, giving you a better shift at that spot. However, you still want the car to drive nice uh, at low load conditions. So a lot of that goes untouched or you should be able to set the transmission up so that it feels and drives like factory under low load conditions. Uh, and then obviously during high load conditions like a shift, you know, third to fourth shift is probably the harshest one. Um, you can still have a nice crisp shift. Hopefully that gives you a little bit better understanding in how torque management and torque control work in keeping your car safe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.